Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Tuesday the 25th of January 2022 and we're producing our regular morning update providing prices, news and economic data. Today we see equity markets resurrect from a major fall yesterday whilst the US dollar strengthens and precious metals weaken a little. So let's take a look. Welcome to Illuminati Silver. It's Tuesday, the 25th of January, 2022, at 9.54 in the morning. The news today is somewhat mixed. There's a little good news and a little bad news. There's also some tension and also some relief. The relief comes in the form of cryptocurrencies rising about 4%. In the last 24 hours. The concerning news is that inflation is hitting the UK to such an extent as we can see by this headline that UK workers need an 8% pay rise to beat the living standards crunch and that is certainly not going to happen. And the rather concerning and worrying news is that the Pentagon has now put eight and a half thousand troops on alert to bolster NATO near the Ukraine. Let's take a look at that. The US is putting as many as 8,500 troops on heightened alert for deployment to bolster NATO forces in Eastern Europe, if needed, as Russian troops mass on Ukraine's borders, offering a show of military force alongside diplomatic efforts to defuse the crisis. It's very clear that the Russians have no intention right now of de-escalating, so it makes prudent sense to give US military personnel time to prepare if NATO activates its response force along the alliance's eastern flank. UK workers need 8% pay rises to beat living standards crunch. British workers will need pay rises of 8% on average this year to offset the living standard squeeze from higher energy bills, tax rises and broader inflation if the government does nothing to help. On the positive front, equity markets mixed, but not all doom and gloom when we bear in mind that the Dow yesterday was almost in free fall at one point and then recovered its losses. Stocks were mixed and US equity futures slid Tuesday as investors weighed concerns about tightening monetary policy and geopolitical tension. European equities rebounded from their worst drop since June 2020 after robust results from telecom equipment maker Ericsson and luxury watchmaker Swatch Group. Contracts on the S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 fell about 1% after wild swings on Wall Street. Volatility is hitting markets ahead of a key Federal Reserve meeting on Wednesday with US-Russia tension over Ukraine also buffeting sentiment. Global equities at one point wiped almost $3 trillion on Monday, with the S&P 500 down more than 10% from a record high, before a dramatic reversal saw major US benchmarks end in the green. Business news by the BBC. Marmite maker to axe 1,500 jobs worldwide. The Royal Mail to cut 700 management jobs. Can we see what's happening with employment? Inflation surge sends UK interest payments higher. Interest payments, and uh, this might be a, an important lesson for America too, as well as other countries around the world, of course. Interest payments on government borrowing last month hit a record high for December, as surging inflation increased the cost of debt. The Office for National Statistics said interest on government debt hit £8.1 billion last month, up from, wait for it, £2.7 billion a year earlier. The increase came as soaring energy costs sent inflation to a 30-year high. Now, the US dollar has moved exactly as we were anticipating, and it is nice to be right. We're not always right, but we normally get the trend correct. 
and we can see the dollar index is now above 96. Whenever there is a crisis, geopolitical or financial, rest assured, and this will put all those doomsayers about the dollar to test, people flock to the US dollar, which is why we have said time and time again, the dollar will be one of the last major currencies to fall because as the others fall they flee to the dollar energy prices up a dollar with brent crude at 87 and a half and wti crude at just under 84 and a half stocks as mentioned actually major dip yesterday and then recovered quite dramatically in a couple of hours with the dow jones up 99 points and the S&P up 12 and the Nasdaq up 86. Asia Pacific though badly affected down between one and a half and two percent but we have some relief in the UK and Europe where we see prices up on average one percent. Now US economic data yesterday we had the market manufacturing and services PMI published though Market Watch haven't actually published them, but we've taken a quick look at IHS market, and it says output, US output growth slows to 18 month low as Omicron wave exacerbates supply delays and labor shortages. US private sector firms signaled a marked slowdown in growth at the start of 2022 amid softer demand conditions worsening supply chain disruptions and labor shortages linked to the Omicron wave. Adjusted for seasonal factors, the IHS market flash US Composite PMI output index posted 50.8 in January, down notably, notably from 57 in December. This might be the reason we're seeing a little bit of a contraction in the price of silver. Gold is down $3.5 ahead now of tomorrow's FOMC meeting. That's not a surprise, it's holding up quite well. Currently standing at $1,838. Silver, however, has taken quite a hit and is down $0.46 cents at $23.77. Partially because of the strengthening dollar and partly because if some of the economic figures are not that great, then again, the demand for silver, as far as traders are concerned, could actually fall. So we're seeing the price come back. But let's not get too distraught at this stage, because, of course, silver performed extraordinarily well last week. And so a little bit of a pullback should really be anticipated. Cryptocurrency markets, as mentioned earlier, up 4%. Bitcoin is now up to 36,000, gaining 5% in the last 24 hours. And probably, if memory serves me correctly, close to 10% gain since Saturday, because cryptocurrencies trade 24-7. Finally, quick shout out to our video produced on Sunday, why the FOMC may be more hawkish than planned. We plan to do another video, which will either be published late today or early tomorrow morning, again on the FOMC. So please, if you haven't done so, do subscribe and press that bell sign so you're notified when these videos are actually published. Thank you so much for listening. Until our next video. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.